Hey guys, what's up? Vin here from VD Engineering and welcome to another video. This video will cover the details of connecting MATLAB and Simulink to Flight Gear and will answer your commonly asked questions based on the video which I've made a couple of years ago. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, there is a very popular engineering tool called MATLAB which is used in almost every single engineering major in American schools, Canadian schools and the UK as well. It's a very popular computational software and Simulink is an add-on to MATLAB, which is mainly used for control system design. So if you're a student of mechanical and aerospace engineering, then you know this tool will be very useful for you in your career as well as in your school projects. So the, there is a very popular feature in MATLAB where you can connect it to a flight simulator and you can actually visualize your own aer aerospace simulations in, a, in an environment, right? And that simulator is called Flight Gear. So you can connect MATLAB and Simulink to Flight Gear and look at your own simulations. The previous video which I had made talks about that in detail and I will also explain to you in that video how you can do this step by step for anyone as long as you have a laptop. So I do recommend you watch that video first if you're interested in doing connect connection between MATLAB and Simulink to Flight Gear for your own academic projects and so on. This video will answer your commonly asked questions which you had left previously and I will go into more of the details about you know things like can I use the joystick? Um, which versions of MATLAB are compatible with which versions of Flight Gear? So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first commonly asked question is which version of MATLAB is compatible with which versions of Flight Gear? So you can find this out by going into your MATLAB and then dragging the 6 degree of freedom Flight Gear configured animation block from the Simulink library browser into the workspace. Then you simply double click on the block and look at the drop down menu of Flight Gear options. And the versions shown on the list are the versions of Flight Gear which you can use. Obviously, I would strongly recommend using the latest Flight Gear version, which is compatible with the MATLAB you have installed. The next question which I get is that the BAT file runs Flight Gear, but the Simulink model becomes unavailable. How can I start the simulation? So, assuming that you have first installed the correct version of Flight Gear, which is compatible with your MATLAB, you must first run Flight Gear by running DOS run fg.bat, and then run the Simulink model. If you do it in the opposite order, the model becomes unavailable and you will not be able to activate it. Next question, can I use a joystick with MATLAB and Flight Gear? Okay, so yes, you can definitely use that. I have made a few videos on how you can connect MATLAB with joysticks and Simulink as well. I have here an example of a joystick model which I used for my own simulations. I basically used the joystick command and then build my own control system to control the joystick output and to make sure that things don't overshoot. In this case here, I have a bunch of transfer functions for the roll, the pitch, and the yaw axis. And I have them separately made because one transfer function need not correspond to something else. So this is something which you have to build for your specific joystick because you know every joystick has its own configurations and parameters. And you can also connect the joystick with flight gear, of course, as I have done here in this example. The space shuttle taking off, I have controlled the pitch of the joystick. And you can see me doing in the videos here. So yes, connecting joysticks with MATLAB and Simulink is possible, but it does depend that it should be a USB joystick because that's preferred. If it's a wireless joystick, that'll be okay too. And the one I use is the Logitech Freedom 2.4. I also have another joystick, which is the Logitech Extreme Pro, and I'll be doing a video on that in the future to see how that works with MATLAB. Okay, so next question. Can I run the Simulink file on an external hardware platform and then connect to Flight Gear on a different computer? This will be possible, however, it does require external C++ compilers, which is beyond my knowledge because I'm not that great at C++. I would recommend you look for documentation online or research papers which show this, how you can port the simulator to something else. I'll be, perhaps I might be doing this in the future if I'm interested, but for now I just run my simulations on my own computer. Okay, so the next question is how do I start the airplane on the ground? Now this will not be possible directly because MATLAB does not notice the ground in flight gear so you simply look for the elevation of your airport which you want to take off from in feet convert that into meters and then put it into simulink as i've done here now if you do this you simply set the altitude and then the simulink workspace will be your elevation of your airport right and matlab does not unfortunately notice ground so you have to actually hard code the altitude in the program can you use the simulink model with an existing flight dynamics model in flight gear Yes, you obviously can do this, and you do this by disabling the FDM null command. But if you disable the FDM null command, if the aircraft does not have its own dynamics installed or, you know, programmed, 
it will enable the GeForce Analyst interfere with the simulation model. As I, as you can see here, if I disable the FTM null in the space shuttle video, it does it falls to the ground, right? Or if the aircraft has its own dynamics, it might actually interfere with the dynamics which you define in your simulate model. Can I simulate moving control surfaces and flight gear? So like landing gear, flaps, and spoilers. Yes, you can obviously do this, but it does require knowledge of JSP Sim and C++ to build a dynamics model, which is again beyond my knowledge. And But you can definitely do this though, right? It's possible, but you need to know C++ extremely well. How do I import my custom CAD models into flight gear? So I have a couple of videos on how exactly you can do this. You simply need a couple of software and obviously a CAD tool which can create VRML files. Those videos explain it in detail and you obviously need to watch that if you want to get the full picture. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have your doubts cleared from this video. And by connecting MATLAB and Flight Gear, you can definitely do a lot of cool things. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.